we struck our first gold of 2024. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you all about it. Here we go. Hi, right, y'all know last week I told you I had a not the double score coming in. And here it is. We got it in right here. And we took it on its maiden voyage to the beach. And we picked probably the best beach day in a year to take the knock the double school down there. <laughs> it was just loaded with targets everywhere. The double school ended up getting four rings, one gold. I put a picture up there right there. And uh, almost 10 bucks and change. It, it, it was crazy. Two watches. Um, I think six or eight earrings. Six of the hoops and two of the little small ones. Unbelievable day down there. But in the end, the double score did did pan out excellent. I actually took it back to the truck and tried my knock the legend uh, just for the last hour. And I ended up getting another ring, uh, some change, and some other stuff. But I tell you what, the double score held its own on the beach. Uh, Joe Stickerfoos is right with me. He actually got gold. He's actually using, I think, as a, a Equinox. He got a nice little gold um, uh, high school ring. So, I mean, we all were finding stuff down there. John Boy was down a uh, different section of the beach. He actually got seven rings. No gold, but he got seven. So, uh, you just had to get your cool little top of it. But it definitely makes a difference when you got a heavy target beach there where you just, man, unbelievable targets everywhere. But I'm really happy with the double score. It did really well for me. I'll have a video coming out on that hunt. Um, I'll probably try to move it up a little bit because normally, like you know, I, I got two weeks of videos uh, scheduled to come out. So I'll try to move it up closer to uh, today, maybe in, in a, this coming week, so y'all can check it out because it was definitely a super cool hunt. Love it. Um, second thing, the pits. Y'all know I've been digging the heck out of pits and I'd find some really cool stuff. A uh, couple things. I did do electrolysis on. I'll show you real quick. Look at that. I'll show a picture before and after up there on the screen. But that is super cool. Uh, I don't know what that key would have gone to. But uh, it's it's a big key. Back in the old days, I think they had j bigger keys than we do now, of course. But uh, I, I'm not sure what it was going to. Maybe the front door. I don't know. Because it was back in the 1600s, some of this stuff was. And here is a pair of scissors. And I'll show a picture up there before and after. Uh, electrolysis, when you put the, in an electro, I mean, just, that uh, rust is just concreted to it. I mean, you can't even get it off. It's just, like, welded to it. But you, when you put it in electrolysis, it's just amazing. Uh, yeah, I take a little a standard, sand it down. So I took, you got to get the bare metal so you can actually hook the electrode onto it, uh, the electrical line onto it. And, uh, and once you hook it to it, you'll see it all start to bubble up. But when you do that, that stuff, it didn't take but like two days, and that stuff just fell right off. First, it's just concrete on there, and then it, electrolysis just it just comes right off. And I use some uh, special uh, preservative to put onto it to help chemically treat the rust. That if there's anything left on it, and give it a good coating so the air can't get to it and try try rust again. But it turns out really good. Uh, I haven't been back as much recently. I've been hitting the beach. Uh, we actually had another beach hunt. Uh, that John Boy got a nice piece of gold. This is before I got my double score. I, but he actually got a beautiful piece of gold. I'll put a picture up there. It's an a 18 carat. It's like a name, but it's really pretty. Uh, so congrats on that one, John Boy. That was an excellent find there. But anyway, back to the pits. Um, we, uh, we, we're we going to still continue looking for small pits. I know they're in there. It's got to be some more in there. Uh, this area that we're hunting is is uh occupied back in the 1600 about mid 16 and well up to present day but heavy concentration with these pits and all seems to be from 1650 to 1740 or somewhere in that range i think you know heavy concentration but uh we're, we're gonna find some more in there it's gonna be some awesome videos coming out in the future on those too um uh, but uh let's see what else we got going on uh uh, Extreme Scoops, uh, he just posted a thing on his Facebook page I wanted to pass along to you. He uh, he has put out, uh, I think they're called the uh, Pro Version 3 Sand Shredder. 
right there. I'm not sure if I've told you about that, but I'll put a picture up there. But if you look in the very bottom where, where you capture the um, the small stuff, it'll actually capture little tiny like uh, earrings and stuff because it's got a little finer mesh metal in the bottom right there, which is really nice. That really helps out because if you get some little little stud earring or something, it keeps falling through your whole phone, you're digging, looking, digging, looking, and you can't ever find it, that definitely helps eliminate time. Time is of essence when you're down there hunting the beach. You want to make the most use of your time because you're so limited on the amount of time you're down there at the prime time, low tide, and everything. So you got to make make the most of time. And that will save you that little bit of time that might get you the next gold ring. So excellent stuff there. All right, well, I think that's we'll wrap it up right now for this week. I appreciate everybody coming along. I wish everybody the best of luck out there and finding some awesome treasure. And if you don't, don't forget you get good exercise. Appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. We'll see you tomorrow on another adventure.